some people have made six figures almost monthly on Tubi. Yeah, I've seen the numbers myself. Yeah. Was your plan from the start to release bad advice on Tubi? You know, it's so funny. It was the original idea was to release it on Tubi. That's why I made it. Because these series were, you know, things were doing so good on Tubi. You know, I see the numbers on Tubi and, and there's certain shows and certain things that do 60,000 a month, 100,000 a month on there, especially back then. And so I was like, man, if I could just get a fraction of that with the show, it would be worth it. Uh, so I went to work thinking it was going to go on Tubi, yes. And then everybody loved it so much that they talked me into trying to shop at the network. So my plan had shifted. Originally, I made it for Tubi because things were doing so well on Tubi. And then I shifted uh, towards the studio system to try and roll the dice, you know. And I honestly I wasted a year or more where I could have just put it on Tubi because of our distribution company and, 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 and get it on there sooner. And it probably would have been better, but I did what I did, so. We hear from independent filmmakers that Tubi is the best paying platform. Would you say that's so? Um, it's not true. Um, I mean, their ECM rate, uh, which is their, every thousand impressions, they pay a certain amount. There's other places that uh, pay pay more than them. It's just a fact. Um, you know, Shine TV right now is paying more than them. There's certain platforms that just are paying more. Um, but you got to get on them. You know, you got to get on those platforms. I think that uh, I think that it's a real progression. You know, to be really embraced independent film when they first started, and I really hope they don't get away from that. But it seems like most platforms do. You know, they build their platform on independent films. And then they ditch independent films. Netflix did it, sadly. You know, they, they built their whole thing on independent films. And then they get big time and then they ditch independent film. Instead of at least having an independent film section, which I wish they would. Uh, Amazon Prime built their thing on independent film. And then eventually now they got rid of independent film for the most part. Uh, and Tubi has now built their platform on independent film. And I, I really hope... I've heard rumors that they're going to get away from independent film, but I don't know that. But I really hope that they don't. So, Do you think they would still use their AVOD model? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, their bread and butter is the fact that people watch that for free in, uh, in commercials. Now, the split might be different, you know. Um, there's certain platforms. Free, freebie plays $0.08 cents an hour, Freebie. Um, and that's Amazon Prime's, like, other platform but uh yeah so the different ones pay differently they could pay their pay scale they have changed it since i've been with them uh you know they were paying one thing and now they're paying something different so things change never it never stays the same you know that, that's the guarantee and it moves moving very fast you know it's crazy because uh you know tubi was doing independent films and doing two hundred thousand dollar independent films and giving people a shot at that, and that changed. Uh, they were doing million dollar films with certain people, and that changed. Like, it just changes so quick that if you hear about something and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do that, and then a year later you come, it's probably gonna be different. So it's, it's very hard to kind of like know something's one way when it's, it changes so quickly, and sometimes it's changed completely before you're done your project. So if you think you're gonna do it for one reason, just because of a platform doing something, it's not a smart reason to do it. So it's crazy how fast it changes. But you have heard of filmmakers making six figures in a relatively short amount of time or, or thereabouts six figures? Close to six figures in a month. Yeah. Wow. Some people have made six figures almost monthly on Tubi. Yeah. I've seen the numbers myself. Yeah. What genre was this? Uh, you know, it seems like, you know, I hear a lot also, I, not just the numbers that I've seen, but from, from everything that I gather from people, the things that do well on there, uh, horror films do well on there, gangster films do well on there. Um, for a long time, I would hear people say that Tubi was the black Netflix. You know, I heard that a lot from people, um, that black film, film, black cinema, black film, whatever you want to call it, was doing really well on there for a while. And I think after a while, they got so much of it that still now there's some films that... In the beginning, I think if you got on there early, it was very easy to rise to the top. And, and now Tubi has so much content that people are getting lost on there. 
Um, it's, a, it's a very different thing than when they started. But there's also more eyes, you know. Tubi had 30, 40 million subscribers four years ago, and now they have 70 million or more subscribers. So uh, more eyes are going that direction because it's a free platform. Uh, the filmmakers get paid from commercials on there, and the viewers get to watch free stuff because they're watching commercials, so. How did you get your show on Tubi? Well, I, I work for a distribution company, and so that distribution company gets the, it on platforms, and I have find films for them. So I find films for them, and then I help those filmmakers get on certain platforms, uh, like Pluto and, and Tubi and, and Shine TV are the main three that we help people get on right now. And Amazon Prime, but Amazon Prime is mostly for purchase. You can still submit to their thing, but they take very, very seldom things on Amazon Prime for free. And, you know, while they got wasted was on Amazon Prime for free, you know, their streaming platform and they, gosh, they, they totally took us for a role. I mean, while they got wasted went viral on Amazon Prime. I was at 30, I had 33,000 people a month watching it on Amazon Prime and I only got $1,200 a month. It was insane. You know, I would look at the numbers and it was like, oh my God, like so many people have seen the film. You know, and while he got wasted, it's lasted a long time. Like I still get reviews, almost like one review or rating on IMDb, like a month, a, a week. You know, it, it it varies, of course, but it seems like that movie still carries. You know, and while he got wasted, still is on Tubi. It's been on Tubi for four, four years, around four years, and I still have thousands of people a month watching it, uh, which is pretty impressive for a movie that's now five years old which is cool. Um, I feel like once you get up in the algorithm, you stay up uh, if it's performing well. I don't know their exact algorithm, but if you get on there and you get lost, it's, it's really hard to get up uh, in it. And hopefully you, you get on any streaming platform, I'm sure. But if you can get up in that algorithm, you're doing well. But, I, but I've also heard like with Netflix and some of these things that don't really take independent film, that you actually negotiate in your deal to be in the top 10 on Netflix and these kinds of things, which I was shocked to hear. I didn't know those things existed. I thought, oh, it's in the top 10 movies because it's so good or whatever. Nah, they no negotiated that in their deal. I want to be in the top 10 for six weeks. That's what I want for my deal. You know, that's a, th Those are all negotiations, which makes sense. I mean, it's their platform. They make up the rules. They can do whatever they want. So, you know. Do you know what territories are watching your movies on any of these platforms? Um, well, you can look up any platform and know what countries they're in, you know. Um, I think, I don't know that any of them really specifically say what territories. Amazon Prime had a very detailed... Um, out, like a detailed spreadsheet of like showing you things uh, to be far less. Um, you know, they don't really give you all the information you'd like to have for advertising. Because if you were going to advertise and you knew like everybody in this Denver liked your show, you could advertise more. They don't really give you that when you're an independent filmmaker, at least. Sadly, uh, I get how many impressions you had and... Uh, from what date to what date, and I don't get much more information than that, sadly. Um, and a lot of filmmakers want it, and I, I understand. You know, I've helped maybe twenty to thirty some films get on Tubi and some of these other platforms, and um, and yeah, you're an independent film, so I mean, you know, you don't have maybe the push the studio have to find out more information and stuff like that. Um, we're a small fish still, even if we have 100 films, 600 films, whatever we have that we're helping. I found 30 some films, but the, the company we have is, is like 600 some, 700 films on a lot of these platforms, so. Are you worried that the success that filmmakers are finding with Tubi is fleeting, won't last? I do worry about it, yeah. I definitely do worry about it. Because you've seen it in the history books, like I said. Netflix was built on independent film and then they bailed on independent film. Amazon Prime built on independent film and then they bailed on independent film. It's like how these studios basically build their product because if I get my film on Tubi, I'm going to tell everybody I know to watch it. And then they, you know, people that don't know about Tubi, well, what's Tubi? You know? So I find myself 
you know, Wally Got Wasted has been on Tubi for five years. I find myself explaining to people what Tubi is. It's free advertising. If you embrace independent film, it's free advertising, especially when you're start, first starting a platform. So there's so many people that I go, it's on Tubi. And they go, oh, you know, I, I don't have Tubi. I go, you don't need, it's a, it's a free platform. You just watch, you have to watch commercials, but it's free. You can get it on your phone, on your computer, on your, t it'll go on your TV, you know. I find myself literally working for Tubi because my film's on Tubi. Like, I am advertising for them. As much as you could say they're advertising for me. I mean, they're getting me to people that, that ultimately wouldn't see the movie if I'm up in their algorithm. Um, but, you know, and I, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful to Tubi for, for helping me find an audience and, and embracing independent film. And I hope they continue to embrace independent film. Do you know which movies you're sort of recommended with? Like, you know, a lot of times you watch it and then there'll be, if you like this, then you'll like this one. Do you know which ones you're lumped in, which group? I know, I know what films come up after mine and they're kind of like um, stoner comedy kind of stuff. Independent stuff. I, I don't see that I'm connected to any big studio stuff. Uh, I'm always looking. It's interesting because I have parole officers on Tubi. I did have three guys on a couch on Tubi. It's not on there anymore. But Parole Officers is on Tubi. Wally Got Wasted is on Tubi. And Bad Advice is on Tubi. I have three projects of my own that's on Tubi. And I think the show, Bad Advice, hasn't they ha somehow their algorithm it hasn't tagged to other things. And I, I don't think that's helped it. I think Wally Got Wasted has been tagged in other films. And so when you watch this, it'll come up under recommendations. That's a huge part of if you're making money on there, is if it somehow gets in with other stuff. Uh, it, it's funny that it's connected with other independent films on there, but it's all their algorithm, which I've never worked at Tubi. I don't know fully how it works, but it definitely helps you if you're connected to something that's doing well on there. It can make... In, break the difference of whether you're making money or not making money, that's for sure.